I can give you two examples of what does empower First Nations. One, two communities that I visited, um, one Six Nations, which is really close to here. They have invested in, um, in over 16 renewable energy projects. Um, and that means in some being majority owned, large scale wind, large scale solar. That means generating revenue upwards of $5 million annually already now. So I think that's an amazing thing that people, that First Nations communities as well as the rest of Canada can invest in and actually see um, profit coming back from that, revenue coming back from that. As well as Gaspé, um, where three Mi'kmaq communities have invested um, and are now majority owned in a large scale wind project, which is gonna, event in the sh short time turnaround, like I saw it, they're already generating wind and power, um, 10 million annually. It just shows that it, when you invest in renewable energy, you do have a rate of return and you do have revenue coming back into your communities. And therefore, that you can put that into social programming, you know, where there's social programming going into the schools already, where they're relearning Mi'kmaq language revitalization. Um, so I th and also Run of the River in Squamish. And so I think there's just so many amazing examples of communities already generating revenue um, and, and also not contributing to climate change at the same time.